see, God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state. Your breakthrough may not come the way somebody else got their breakthrough. Your breakthrough may come a totally different way. God has given you the victory and they call it the triumph is yours. Health is a mindset. Wealth is a mindset. Prosperity is a mindset. God's word is his building material. And God uses his word to build his people. He builds our lives through the word. Everything that God does, he does it with his word. Say that back to me. Everything that God does, he does it with his word. That's important to write down. We know through faith that the whole worlds were framed by the word of God. God spoke the worlds into existence. Do you know you have that power to speak your world into existence? You're framing your world every day by the thoughts you think and the words you're speaking. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And that tongue, the words that come out of your mouth, has power to shape your destiny, to create your reality, to cause you to step into a place that you desire or undesire. And so the thing about it is we got to understand something about the word it's the word of God what builds us up. God uses his word to build us. And I can go in a lot more about that teaching. But the main thing is this. Hear the word this morning. Hear what God is saying. Because the most important thing is to do is to hear what God is saying. In the midst of media, in the midst of magazines and books and everything around us and some wonderful stuff and CDs. But you got to hear what God is saying. And that's the most important thing, is what God is saying. The Bible teaches that the future of every king is in the hands of his counselor. That means the wisdom that a man allows to come into his life determines what his future is going to be like. You either live your life by design or you live it by default. And you say, well, by default, you ask the question, whose fault it is? <laughs> it's nobody else's fault. The way you live your life, you have to take responsibility of the choices that you make. The Bible says that we are to walk worthy of the calling to which you have been what? Call. Say with me, I have a divine call. I have a divine call. And I will walk worthy of that call. Calling is a strong urge to a particular job or task or life or career. It is the work that a person does or should be doing. To walk worthy of the calling, we are all called. Every one of us are called. Every one of us has a calling from God. When you came to this earth, God has put a calling on your life. And many of you believe that you have a specific calling on your life. It's been there since your childhood. God spoke into you even when you were in your mother's womb. Now, I believe I am going to cooperate with what has already been said in heaven. When you already know what God's calling and if you're discovering that calling, I'm going to give you some things on how to discover your gifts and calling today just in some arenas uh, that will help you to tap into some of these areas. But my steps are ordered by the Lord. Uh, one of the things of my calling has to do with to inspire people, to empower people, to enlighten them to their true identity, to their divinity, and then to help them to realize their highest potential in Christ. Uh, that's a part of my assignment. Uh, my assignment has taken me to different places all over the world. A calling from God will put you in the spaces and faces that you never thought you would be able to be in. 2005, I found myself 
in the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., praying before then, before praying over the president, the former president of the United States of America, I had the opportunity to meet him personally, to meet him personally because of my calling on my life, specific calling of God's assignment. So I wind up there in 2005 by invitation of the former president, George W. Bush, that sent the phone call here to Mobile, Alabama, and invited me to come and represent the whole Gulf Coast area and to pray in the National Cathedral Day of Prayer. And to step into that arena was a calling of God. God's calling took me to Washington. And as I stood in that cathedral and I look over the audience and here you have the president of the United States, First Lady Laura Bush, Dick Cheney, the former vice president, Condoleezza Rice, Supreme Court Justice. You have all the heads of state in that one cathedral for that moment. Your calling will take you to places and put you in the faces that you never have even thought you'll be in. You see, God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state.